Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel. It's been a, a hot minute since my last review, but I do think that what I have to talk to you about today will make up for that delay. Let's look at Petroleum by Max Lucan. Let's roll the intro and get straight into the review. So you've stuck around, which means that you are interested in knowing more about Petroleum by Max Lucan. First and foremost, what is the effect? For those that don't know, I'll have a link in the description of uh, the Theory 11 trailer of the effect because it's pretty straightforward and it, uh, it does have exactly what the effect will present. But for those that don't want to go check that out, I will tell you what it is. Essentially, Petroleum lets you do two things primarily. The first thing it lets you do is a super clean triumph where someone picks a card, places it back, you shuffle face up into face down, you display both sides that are completely next, you let the deck on the table, you snap, you do what you want, and automatically one card is gonna be face up among all the other cards that rearrange themselves in the good order. If you don't like that, the other thing you can do with, with this is essentially an oil and water, where you start small with just a few cards showing the oil and water principle as usual, and then you show that it has applied to the entire deck afterwards. That is essentially the effects that you get with petroleum. Now, where do you buy this and how much does it cost? This costs $29.99 US dollars and is available at Theory 11 uh, for now. It is available at some magic dealers. And I'm saying some because for example, Vanishing Ink has it, but Penguin Magic does not yet carry it at the date of this video. So maybe that will fluctuate around, but for the moment, I just know that Theory 11 has it since they are the manufacturer and Vanishing Ink also carries it for the moment. Now, uh, what do you get when you purchase uh, the effect? So what you get is essentially um, this box. So this is typical Theory 11 packaging. You get this box inside, you get a link to the instru uh, instructions. If you buy it automatically from Theory 11, you get the instructions already into your account the moment you place the order. And of course, you also get uh, the, deck of, uh, the deck of cards, which is Mandolin Back. Uh, and with this, I mentioned the instructional video. It is one hour and 25 minutes long. It is super in-depth with uh, Max uh, teaching you the history, the effects, uh, a ton of variations, how to do it, how to get into it, out of it. Uh, he teaches you a bunch of stuff. It is an hour and almost an hour and 25 minutes. So that is a long instructional video, well shot with different angles for you to get the best out of um, the experience of watching it. Now, first and foremost, I just want to mention this before getting into the difficulty. Um, so the thing that I want to mention is that one, some of these effects are done with signed cards. So you may ask yourself, since it's one deck, do I have to buy a special gimmick pack? Do I have to buy, you know, another deck? And no, you can just buy a mandolin back deck, which goes for like three US dollars. You sign a card, you do the effect with the signed card, and then you just take one of the cards from your mandolin back, boom, you put it back in, and you're good to go again for another signed card effect. That is, you want to do it with signed cards. The second thing, it is mandolin back. So do keep that in mind. And the third thing that I want to mention is that there is a small preparation to do before the effect but it's super simple. You just need a scissor and that's pretty much it. And you can do the preparation because there is a little bit of a setup that he teaches you how to do, but it's nothing to get worried about or to get scared about. If I can do it and I basically abandon all arts and craft magic tricks that I see because I'm just horrible uh, and I can do this, what you need. So that is, uh, that is good on that regard. And also it is a gimmick pack, but I think that was pretty self-explanatory. Now let's get directly into how to perform this. So, uh, uh, how easy it is, my bad. So, um, easy wise, it is pretty self working ish. And what I mean by that is because I don't want to give too much of the way uh, to the method because I do think that people already have some ideas. But what I can say, this may or may not make sense to anyone. Maybe it just makes sense to me. But essentially, to perform this, you just have to learn, um, I would say, deck gymnastics. That's the best way that I could. <laughs> I can explain this. So if you learn your deck gymnastics that he teaches you in the tutorial, you will be able to do both the routines super, super easily without having to think, think too much of, you know, what you have to do because there are just a few things that you have to keep track of, but it's really, really not much. 
And if you do know your deck gymnastics, those little things are the only small points you have to take care of. And that's pretty, pretty much it. It is pretty self-working once you know that. It will take maybe 10 minutes of practice just for you to, you know, do it over and over to get used to it. And that's pretty much it. Now as to practicality, is this practical? Um, this is where most uh, debate is going to go because the effects that he does teaches you are effects that you can do with the normal deck. Yes, I do understand that. It is true. You can do, you can do these effects with the deck. But the question is, are they better? then what you can do with this that is essentially the question you have to ask yourself once you see the trailer and you see the performance you've got to ask yourself is this the triumph that i really want do i want to eliminate the few moves that i have to do and just include this deck in my show do i really want to eliminate those moves do i not want to eliminate those moves do i really want it to look that clean bar you know certain things so those are questions you have to ask yourself because you will have to carry around an extra deck of cards just for this trick because there's not much you can do with this deck apart from those effects. Now, this is my opinion on it. Uh, the Triumph, it is something that I do feel that this is worth taking because the Triumph is the most clean thing you will ever, ever do and ever see. It is, it is, it is really, really good and amazing. As to the oil and water, for me, to this day, Woody Aragon's um, oil and water that he teaches in Separagon, it is still the best effect that I ever do and I've ever learned. So to me, no gimmick deck will ever replace the oil and water that Woody teaches in that download. It is just incredible and masterful. So this deck will not replace the oil and water that I do, but I do consider it good enough to put in a show or in a demonstration um, for the Triumph because it is really that clean and really that good. Now, let's say, where do you perform this into our next category? Where do you perform this? So essentially, uh, you can perform this, I would say, walk around, table hopping. You could even do this maybe in street and on stage and parlor, of course, if you have a camera so people can see, then that could work as well. But if not, walk around stage or if you're sitting at a table with people coming in like at a speakeasy or something, this could work for sure. And you can do it in the hands or on the table. So that gives you some flexibility as well. He does teaches you how to do it in the hand, how to do it on the table, how to mix both, which is how I do it. I mix both in the table and in the hand while I perform. So that is essentially uh, giving you an idea of where you can perform this. And also if you perform table hopping or strolling, uh, it, it does take a small reset. So I would say 10 to 15 seconds to reset it is really nothing major. Um, and... Um, yeah, that's around how to perform it. Now we can jump into the last before last section. That is the positives and negatives of the effect. We'll start with the negatives this time. So what are the negatives? Is that the effects that this deck lets you perform are effects that you can do with a normal deck. So it, it's up to you to decide whether carrying an extra an extra deck of cards for one routine that you can do without uh, gimmicks is worth for you. Uh, that is up to you. I already gave you my thoughts upon that and how I interpret that. So that's up to you. And the second negative is, is if you're table hopping, you do have to do a reset every single time you want to perform this. But it doesn't take that long. But it is still a reset that you may or may not be able to do, you know, in front of spectators. And that is essentially all the negatives that I have for this product. There's not that many. As to the positives... This is one of the cleanest Triumph versions that I've ever seen because it has no moves. It is that clean. They see both sides shuffled. You place the deck down. You know, you can do a gag. How I perform this, I say, oh, um, I forgot something. Let me come back. I go for like 20 seconds. I come back and I say, did you guys touch the deck? And they say no. And then when I spread it, it's oh, but didn't you do this? And, you know, that's how I perform it a little bit of a comedy type thing just because to enforce the fact that I was never even there to touch the cards it's kind of um, a good approach for me I know that may be silly or cheesy for some of you but that is my approach uh, so it's super clean for that effect it is uh, a deck that will last you because you you know depending on your use it is not expensive even if you need a refill you can replace your signed cards with cards from your normal decks so that is another bonus the instructions are incredibly well done with a lot of performances and, uh, you know, ideas on how to adapt it. And lastly, one thing that I like is that the method is adaptable. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. There's not just one single way 
Um, Max teaches you different ways of doing it, but you can even think of your own as well, which is kind of great because you can adapt this to fit your style more and more with, you know, if you want to add more slides because you can do it with no slides or you can add it with some slides, that's up to you. So there's a bunch of things you can do with it. It is adaptable, which is what I like as well. So this essentially wraps up the video for me. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this and I hope that uh, it gave you some information. For those that are more numerical and standard, I will give this uh, a rating. So I'll give this an 8.75 on 10. So 87% or a four on five, depending how you want to interpret that and kind of put it in your measure. That's essentially what I give Petroleum by Max Lucian. I do think it's a good product. I think the price range is good. And for those that are interested in this, I don't think you will be disappointed. If you're on the fence and you take um, some of the points that I said and you're maybe still on the fence, maybe this will not be for you. But I do think that if you purchase this and this is something that you want to do, especially for the Triumph, you will not be disappointed. Thank you again for coming to my channel and giving me some views. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you so much and see you guys in my next few videos because I do have some lined up for you. So thank you and see you then. Bye-bye.